Now earlier this week, Portland made history and for the first time named a city park after a black woman. Take a look. This is Verdell Burdine Rutherford Park at Southeast 167th and Market. Verdell Burdine's role in Oregon history is remarkable to say the least. I mean, she moved here from Oklahoma in 1913 with her family. They were trying to take advantage of the Enlarged Homestead Act. They wanted to get some farmland. One problem, a pretty big problem, Oregon law was super duper racist. Uh, they didn't even let black people own land at that time. But Verdell and her husband, Otto Rutherford, became leaders of the local NAACP chapter. They helped pass the Public Accommodations Act, which outlawed discrimination in hotels and in hospitals and restaurants and in movie theaters. Verdell's daughter still lives here. I mean, her daughter. I mean, if you want to think about time, and this was not that long ago, uh, she remembers how hard her parents fought to get that law passed. They lobbied again and again for legislation to be passed, and the bill was given to junior House member Mark Hatfield. He took it seriously, which had not necessarily been the case with other people in the past. And they were able to get legislation passed. It took 33 years to happen, and it was a very big starting point, especially for this state. Now, of course, right now, COVID-19 has the playground shut down, so you can't go there and enjoy it just yet. But you can still go and visit the park. You can hang out there. The park used to be called Lynchview Park, which was named after Patrick Lynch. He donated the land to the Centennial School District in the 19th century. Viewer Donnie Adair wanted to point something out to us. He emailed McCoy Park here in North Portland was named in honor of Bill and Gladys McCoy. Mrs. McCoy was the first African-American Multnomah County executive, and she was a woman. So this latest naming of a park honoring a black woman would be the second park. That is an excellent point, Donnie. Thank you for that. Now, for those of you not familiar with Gladys McCoy, she was the first black woman elected uh, to public office here in Oregon when she won her race to be on the Portland School Board in 1970. She would eventually become the chair of the Multnomah County Board of Commissioners as well. And today, the Multnomah County Health Department headquarters is named after her. Way to go. Well, you know your history, Donnie. Good stuff. Uh, I told you our viewers are smart. But Portland Parks and Rec has this answer for you guys, to dis a distinction between the two. Gladys and Bill's historic, uh, historic contributions to the state of Oregon, Multnomah County, and the city of Portland are recognized and honored equally at McCoy Park. Verdell Burdine Rutherford Park is the first Portland park to be named in honor of an individual black woman. Hope that clears it up for you.